I'm going to deliver a really, really impressive Patek to an equally as impressive businessman of a very, very, very famous brand. It's f***ing Baltic here in Germany, but I'm really looking forward to see this guy and this brand, which I'm extremely chuffed about. There you go. a bit of a different pickup. He picked up in the rolls. Ah, uh, feels special. So, go on with what I was talking about, uh, bringing an absolute insane impressive watch. A very rare watch. The cool thing is, it's a watch that I have in my personal collection as well. I just want to show you this car, right? Because this is actually not. The cool thing is, I just got this bottle of water out of the fridge. You have a screen here, and you have a beautiful mirror here as well, and you can see how beautiful I am. Look at the mad cars there. Bravos, we're here. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. How are you? Uh, amazing to finally see you. We've been talking for hours, like hours. He escaped the house. They literally spent time with me on the phone. And as a kid, I remember what your father done with the brand and everything. And it's just so cool to be here. I'm happy here because in the end, you know, a lot of what we do is very similar. It's about luxury products. And to run a company, I think you've got to be mad. You have to be a bit crazy. The question is how, how mad you have to be and, and how, much, how much of it is good for the business. I'm a watch guy above anything else, but cars is my second love. So just preparing constant Dean's watch. There's not many people in the world that can say to Constantine, get out of your own office, will you? I just wanted to get this watch ready because I want to present it to him properly. That's my one. That's his. 5231J. The Closone Enamel World Timer. That is extremely, extremely difficult to make. We estimate that they make about 25 pieces of these each year. Due to the complexity of creating that dial, this dial has been baked in a proper oven. You're having a home? Yes. Yeah? No. And about 75% of these dials will be thrown in a bin because during the process of the dial being baked, a lot of the dials break and 25% of them go in these watches. It's insane. This is a different way of watchmaking altogether. What about this office? This office is outrageous. This is like dream stuff. Keelan, this is what I'm going to visualize in 10 years time. I want to have a motorbike in my office like that. And I want seating like this in my office as well. We'll make it happen. Yes. What an unbelievable office, man. This is insane. Don't touch it, you're not allowed to. <laughs> you're really taking over the office. You see what I mean? That's how you have to do it. I take it over Bravo, so I've got to make my own car. <laughs> Be in paradise. <laughs> so this one's the Rocket Edition 900 horsepower. Yeah. A G-Wagon. Aero disc on the wheels. Four and a half liter V8. So this is one of the last ones. This is one of that in that series of cars that we did as one of the last ones, yes. And what I love about it is that we are the company where people get to build their car. They're one of one. And we can now in our configurator, we have about a billion possibilities. Every car is different. And I learned so much from our customers because they are bringing things into the cars that we would have never done. And then somebody comes up with something completely new. In this case, the detail I like is the outside badging and details matches the inside. Whenever you see a Brabus car with an outline yeah. on the logo, it's something special. It's kind of like, you know, dial colors in the watch industry. So doesn't mean there's normal 900s. In this case, it's 900 horsepower. Yeah. That's the model name. You can see it's a carbon fiber logo and it's got the outline that always tells you it's a Brabus Masterpiece. Brabus Masterpiece, again, is a car that has everything we have to offer. Full option. Through Insane. The world. Insane. Okay, sorry, this is a bit of a construction site. Nico and I told you about old world and new world, right? So we're leaving the old world and we're entering the new world. The ideal manufacturing look for Brabus was, for me, was always inspired by the watch industry. So for me, an ideal car manufacturing site where you spec your one-off, your rocket, car that you spend a lot of money on. Ah. It needs to look as clean ah. as a watchmaking place. Ah. As I want to see Now, but coats. then our color is black. Is black that? coats. I let's, want to see no, black let's, coats. Let's see. Tell me you've never seen a workshop like this. That is nuts. How clean is this? I've actually done photos where I eat pizza off the floor because that's how I think it should look. This is one of my favorite newer designs, dark blue. Yeah, look at the attention to detail. The more you look, I leave this car with you for two days and you're still going to find new details. That is what I always wanted with our interiors. How long does it take you to build this? If it's a full car, from the moment it gets into production, I'll say two or three months. This is a cool car. It's yeah. the Brabus XLP 900. This is the one I really wanted to see. Nico, they have to get you a step ladder. So, I need another step for the step ladder. This is mech. <laughs> oh, look at the sheer size of it. I'm six foot eight, remember? Are you ready to, for me to show you my favorite you are? Yes. The car we're looking at now is the G900 Super Black Brabus. And the concept when we built it was to go all black, because of course, black is the color of Brabus. Wow, this is my car, guys. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with the G-Wagon. Brabus is like levels 
goals above. I'm gonna actually do a video with Constantine in this insane car. Can I drive it? You are going to drive this because when we have guests, they're driving. Can I scare the living life out of you? You probably will. Check the video out. We're gonna put the link somewhere in the description. Make sure you don't miss it. <laughs> Absolutely legend. So Great. this is, you know, one of the first fully electric cars by Mercedes-Benz. The future is gonna bring, it, bring a lot of changes. What do you think of electric? I think there's areas in life where it really works. As long as you're driving urban, fine. Overland or a sustained high performance i'm kind of halfway there not really because i'm i think the problem is actually not electric cars right now the, the problem is the reach and the problem is the recharging there's so much money flowing into the technology that we will see improving batteries but we still have enormous challenges with infrastructure recharging times because it's not one car recharging it will be thousands of cars recharging millions of cars recharging and that needs to work with the power grids we have i want to make a very stupid comparison right yes. the reason why electric cars exist today is environment it's an environmental reason fossil fuels dying out you want to protect the planet but you can actually really compare it with the trend transition in the watch world in the, the 70s, the quartz crisis, the movement from mechanical watches to battery powered watches, they nearly wiped out 60% of the watchmakers at the time. The thing was, today mechanical watches is still bigger than quartz counterparts. I think that combustion engine cars, like you know now the last variety V8 or yeah, the V12s, engineers, they're going to get massively expensive because right. you're not going to get them anymore. Right, I want to talk about your watch. This is very important, really, really important watch. You ready for this? No? Alright, I'll bring it back home. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you ready for this? The funny bit is, Constantine didn't know at the time that I owned exactly the same watch. Keep in mind, this is an extremely rare watch. You. Nice. You see what the funny bit is? This is actually a nicer looking watch. Yeah, it's nice. identical, but this one is beaten around with damage on the bezel, and this one isn't. The interesting thing is, we not only have the same watch, but we also have the same map. Keep in mind, these dials are completely made by hand. I'm very proud that this is the second watch we share. This is a funny story. Basically, Constantine takes me. So I would like the world timer really good, but I also would like the Bamford, a Bamford Snoopy. I said to George, so I created a group chat where I introduced Constantine and where I introduced George to each other. When I introduced him, I also mentioned that Constantine was looking for a specific Snoopy made by Bamford. And then George came out and said he has only two left of that watch. One for him, and then all of a sudden I was like, you know what, f it, I'll buy the other one. So I put my hand up so we have a second watch together. That's funny. Look at this. This watch is Snoopy and uh, windmilling his arms while skating. I find that so funny. And you know, I, I know I'm gonna wear it. People are gonna say, why are you wearing a children's watch? Because, no, it's not a children's and watch. I don't care. You, know, you I shouldn't, just don't you care. shouldn't. As we know you're going to Dubai. Yes. There's one thing that's hard to get there and that's in this bag. And another thing that makes it very comfortable for your trip. Look at that. Yes, that's hard to get. <laughs> just a little thing to say thank you for you coming. I wouldn't change this for the world. Honestly, for me, I wanted to deliver the watch. I wanted you to have it before you were going on a holiday. And Anyway, but being able to spend time with you because I need to thank you for your time. I'm infected by your passion, by your love, by your extreme attention to detail. Mate, thank you so much. Look at that, we wear the same watch. For me as an entrepreneur, it's just mind blowing to see the attention to detail, something that I inspire to massively. I'm just very proud that Constantine and I are sharing the same passion, watches, cars. Honestly, mate, you've been an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Absolutely.